last year and a half learning to sole sail in Hawaii and preparing my boat, the North Sea 27, to sail the world. After 20 days, I've crossed the equator and am now stuck below the doldrums with no wind. So, I motored all through last night and through most of today. It's sometime in the afternoon now. Uh, still no wind at all. Um, so I'm just kind of bobbing around now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for a swim. So, uh, had a nice little swim, didn't stay in that long. I'm having my probably best meal the whole trip. Um, I'm doing one point nothing knots in the wrong direction. Pretty evening, but I wish I had wind. <laughs> Just another day, bobbing around, no wind. Uh, I do have the engine on, figured why not. Might as well use the diesel I have. Um, I got a lot of sleep last night, so that's one perk of no wind. I just slept probably eight hours. I turned the motor off for the day and probably for the rest of the trip. Um, I never let it run out of diesel, but I knew it was coming soon, so I figured I'd just turn it off so I didn't have to prime it again. No wind. <laughs> Beautiful evening. I think it's my nicest one yet. Um, so there's that. Can't complain too much. Um, it is so hot during the day. It's unbelievable. I've never been that hot. Like I was cramping up and sweating terribly. Got me my first rainwater. Um, slept like a baby last night, and I woke up and there's a small tad of wind. So I doubt this will last very long, where I'm actually able to make any progress. But you know, make the best of what I get, and if I can get. 10 hours of this per day, I'll make it there in a month, easy. Got the sails as tight as I can get them. Uh, that's touching the shrouds, and the main sheet is pulled over to one side of the center, so that should get me as close into the wind as possible, but um, not ideal. Not terrible, but not ideal. Calmed, I took the chance to change out the wind vane lines. Um, this is the old one. It was getting pretty raggedy, chafed almost all the way through. Um, it will last maybe a couple more days, but I think I got it at a pretty good time. The wind has actually improved quite a bit throughout the day, which is good. Uh, it seems like this might stay. It's getting a bit choppier, and it's starting to look like normal ocean more than it did earlier. So I'm really hoping it stays, I can say that much. The wind died again last night. Uh, now it's maybe blowing eight knots or so. So I'm going like one and a half knots in the right direction, I guess, that's something. I still have a good amount of water, so I have some time left of doing this before I actually have to start worrying. So the wind is completely gone now. Uh, I guess things can always get worse. Um, there's still waves, so I'm bobbing around 
and it's not as smooth as it was when I was calm before, but um, <laughs> this is ridiculous. If <laughs> I got no words. I guess it could always be worse. I could be in a storm, but even then I'd be making progress. And I'm sure if I had my phone working, I could probably dodge this. I could probably motor 50 miles either that way or that way, and I'd be out of it. But no way for me to do that. I was right about this. My dad, who was watching the weather the whole time, told me after that if I would have just gone a little bit more south with the engine, I would have escaped it days earlier. Despite the annoyance of no wind, the evenings are still pretty nice. Um, it cools down quite a bit. I've kind of gotten into my routine of having my freeze-dried dinner. Uh, this is a new kind I'm having. Um, read my book and I'm just watching the sunset. What the hell? Got me a booby. That scared the shit out of me. I heard a big loud thump <laughs> looked outside and saw a wing <laughs> well what should i name him it's the coolest booby ever it's like so chill look at that i think i'm gonna name him ronald this is ronald the booby ronald made his first poop on the boat he keeps this up, I might have to kick him out. Freaking Ronald. Day six of no wind. Um, just sitting inside the boat, baking like a damn potato. Somehow the highlight of my days is actually just eating peanut butter with honey. Something about it. It's just so good out here. Um, still no wind. Different cloud formations though, ahead of me. Um, it's looking different, whatever that means. Maybe that'll come my way and bring me perfect east 20 for the rest of the trip. Sounds very likely. Especially given that there's still zero wind. Um. So, I'm in some sort of bizarre squall. I've got two reefs in the main and probably two in the jib. I'm going southeast, just the, on the wrong tack. So the wind is coming from like southwest, which is bizarre, but um, I'll take it. burst of strange wind was short-lived uh, now it's just raining outside and I'm waiting for it to go away who knows maybe this is the start of a new high-pressure system or something and it's just raining because it's wanting to give me a nice and moist welcome uh, but I doubt it we'll see uh, at least it's not so hot when it rains and not much else to say not much else to do just kind of bobbing around. Looks like most of the big squalls are kind of passing by. There's one over there. So, the bullshit has intensified. Um, now I've got about south five winds, which is not enough to sail, but it's enough that I'm being pushed north now. So I'm actually actively losing southern progress. <laughs> this um i'm just i got the sails down there's no point trying to sail at least i can go to sleep now no sails up um even ronald is gone my damn booby is gone so he's been gone since last night and that was like the only joy of the last five days so i have good news last night i got my wind back um, it's coming from where it should be, 
and I'm making decent progress, three and a half, four knots. Got full sail, and I'm making good progress. These are some of my best conditions of the whole trip. Uh, I just hope it lasts. sailing. I've made really good progress in going like four and a half, five knots. Uh, the sea state is picking up a lot, which I'm fine with, but that looks like a pretty ominous formation over there. It goes all the way from there to like go from there somewhere. So last night was pretty long, pretty hard. Um, it was blowing 25. And I didn't really sleep at all. It's blowing maybe 30 from the wrong direction. I've got three reefs in the mainsail. I'm just on a broad reach. I'm trying to get the f away from whatever this is. Yeah, pretty sketchy. Um, I guess it's better than no wind. I'm still moving towards French Polynesia. howling out there. Um, I'm just heaved to just the mainsail. Uh, I'm just gonna wait this out. It's not worth breaking something this late in the trip. Um, plus I can't really sail in this. It just tries to round me up. Uh, so I guess another reading day. The GoPro completely fails to pick up the size of these waves, but if you look at the far ones in the distance, you can kind of get an idea of how large these waves actually were. So last night was pretty rough. I didn't sleep at all, and uh, I thought the sea state was bad. But now, looking outside, is the worst, the absolute worst sea state I've ever seen. I don't know what's causing this. A current, maybe a shallow area, even though I see nothing on the chart, the paper chart. I have no idea what's causing this, but it's really rough. Um, 10 foot, 15 foot, easily. It doesn't show up on the GoPro, I've tried, but it is very rough. Um, got two reefs in the main, two reefs in the jib, just trying to make my way south. I just got the strongest wind gust I've ever gotten in my life. I'd say 45, 50. Uh, that was scary as shit. Um, I was up reefing the sail, and it just started blasting. Um, I'm lucky I didn't tear a sail, I think. That was freaking crazy. All of this is one big ass storm looking thing. Uh, I can see the top of it and it's huge. It's way up there. Um, I'm heaved to right now the best I can, but I can't get this boat to properly do it. Um, I, I can't just if I hang around here, there's a rock to worry about, or like a shallow place down where I'm gonna be headed if I'm just bobbing around, but if I keep going, then I'm sailing into the frickin' center of a the biggest storm I've seen out here that I'm already in, um, and it's pretty nasty. It, you can't see it on the GoPro, but there are some waves breaking on the boat, and I'm not very pleased. Um, I don't know what the hell to do. I don't know what the right choice is, so maybe just wait till morning, see what happens. I was pretty indecisive and nervous at the time due to sleep deprivation, high wind speeds, and large seas. I can now say that a cold front and also a likely opposing current were the cause for these conditions. It's not imminently dangerous, I don't think. Um, 
and the clouds are breaking up more than I thought they were. They aren't just kind of hanging out and just sucking everything around them. So I think I'll be okay. Uh, I've got 200 miles to closest landfall, but about 400 to Tahiti. Uh, and I'm going for Tahiti if I can. Squiddy guy just jumped in the boat. There's some seamounts I gotta think about missing or not missing. I don't know how much it matters because it's not that windy anymore. Uh, so I'm going to go look at the chart one more time and see if I want to bear off or not. So right now I'm about uh, here somewhere. I'm going to try to skip between Tiki Hau and that little island and go straight through there. And then from then I think I'm just going to go 180 degrees until I get to about here. And then bear off and make it to Pape Tehi. So there I am, um, deciding if I want to bear off and miss on that side or this side of that little island. I think it's not worth risking it, so I think I'm going to bear off and go over there. So it is about 6 p.m. Um, I'm bearing off to avoid that little island right there. I just didn't seem worth risking being on a lee shore. Um, got the generator going. It's good to get the batteries charged, and I think I can actually see the land. Um, like over there somewhere. It's pretty faint. Uh, it's about seven miles away, but it's pretty cool to see land. I haven't seen land in 28 days. Today is day 28, so that's pretty cool. Wow. We got 170 miles left to go, so I'm getting close. Uh, I can start starting to get excited. There's a boat heading literally right at me, um, or we're gonna meet the same place. I hate it when people don't answer the radio. It's the most freaking annoying thing ever. It's, like, it's what it's for, come on. Last night was pretty good. Uh, beautiful, just clear skies all night, no squalls or anything. Uh, I got some sleep, but it was pretty rough. Um, not rough, but I was moving pretty fast, so the waves kind of vibrated the boat a lot when they hit. Um, but no complaints, I made better progress than I thought I would and now I am only 75 miles away from Tahiti. So tomorrow morning I think I should see it and then tomorrow around noon I should be making landfall and I'm making it to port. So I'm so excited, so good. Um, just gotta make it through one last night if everything goes to plan and uh, that should be no problem. This guy seems to have aired off to avoid me.
So, uh, there have already been three boats tonight. Uh, one of them came pretty close. Uh, yeah, so I guess sleep's kind of out of the equation if idiots don't have their AIS on or they don't have it at all. Sleep deprivation is starting to become not too fun. I haven't really felt the full effect of it until a couple days ago. And I've been pretty indecisive and sluggish. But at least it happened towards the end of the trip. And uh, tomorrow night I'll just be able to sleep for a day or two days straight. Which I'm looking forward to. Uh, knock on wood. I, I can see the light of Tahiti I think but it already happened once where I thought I saw the light of Tahiti but I, I was actually seeing a boat so I would aim at the light and I wouldn't actually be aiming at Tahiti I was aiming at um, the boat and I kept wondering why my course was changing but it was actually the boat and I was following the boat and I eventually figured that out when it started getting closer, but that was funny. Um, yeah. So close. I'm hearing a bunch of chatter on the radio in French, so I guess I'm officially in the land of baguettes and what else? Croissants. Probably wasn't the best call to not sleep at all. Um, so damn tired. And at least I'm almost done. But I didn't see any ships. Um, uh, I'm pretty close, like 20 miles away. I can see it. So, Land O, uh, I'm excited, but I'm also kind of feeling like shit. Uh, so I'm definitely looking forward to anchoring and getting some sleep and eating some substantial food. Maybe a milkshake or something as well. But damn, it feels good to be here. The sunrise is coming soon and I'll be able to see Tahiti, finally. Land ho! Awesome. It's like looks almost fake. So cool. All right, 13 more miles to go. Now I'm at the channel markers, and then I'm in. Lando. There are a couple boats going 36 knots. I think they're the ferries that go um, in between Morea and Tahiti. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to get bonked by one of those. But uh, it should be all right. I just got to call on channel 12 before I enter the channel and make sure that they're not coming out. I think there are people that are willing to coordinate that. Or not willing to, it's their job, but yeah. So cool, I'm so glad to be here. It's awesome, this place is beautiful. Look at it. protected water and I'm just making my way through the little reef now it's no worse than Kaneohe Bay probably better actually um, yeah and I'm just gonna look for a place to anchor probably at Marina Tahina but uh, right now I'm passing the airport I had to call on channel 12 to let them know I'm going and they approved and I got to call them again once I pass the other end of the runway but so far so good this is so cool it's like it's been a dream for two years now now it's real. Um, I'm gonna get back to focusing on the chart. Thanks for watching. It was a huge relief to see land and my family after 30 days at sea alone. In the next videos, I'll be exploring French Polynesia and all of its islands, so if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe.